I hope your rates going well, and today I'm going to show you how to do the level 162 target in the Reclamation Raid with only three ships. And of course, they are upgraded a little bit because I didn't build the last two, so I could spend a little bit more time upgrading the ones that I did have. Let's go ahead and get started. It matters where you enter this target from in terms of where you're actually placed in here. I find it's best to enter a little bit about the very left side of the target, 9 o'clock, but of course there may be some better path that other people end up doing a little bit later. Also going through here, my general plan is to move towards this first radio tower, then loop across to the left, continue going around the target in a counter or just a regular clockwise manner until the entire outside is dead, and then I will start engaging the core. You get bonuses when you are near the radio tower, so I'm going to try to take advantage of those to kill a few targets. This first one here, radio tower is dead, that triggers, and let's try and stay near it so I can heal this thing, because if this thing is being healed, it does more damage to these little balls right here, and actually takes down those buildings. The entire purpose of the Farsight turret is to take down those buildings, nothing else. Because those buildings, like this one on the left or the right side of the screen right here, they buff the enemy turrets, make them do more damage. I don't want the enemy turrets to do more damage. Alright, just looping across here, taking down that radio tower, and again, try and stay fairly close to these guys within a range of 40 or whatever this is, so they do stay all healed up. Of course, you get other benefits if you're within a range of about 110, so it's also worth it to be near these turrets when you are killing other ships, because like I said, they buff you, make you a little bit stronger, give you resistances, survival, whatever you want to call these things, more speed, it's really, really helpful. Again, staying near this Farsight turret until it's killed all the stuff here, so I have a chance to heal it and keep it topped off there, so these other turrets are really not killing this thing. Once that little building there that they're targeting in their firing arc is dead, it's totally fine to go near those. Also, look at the red rings on the map here, generated by these buildings, bit of an offset. Make sure you don't go too close to those, or inside of them rather, because you will end up taking extra damage, and you don't want to take extra damage. Looks like I didn't quite manage to kill this building, that's fine, I'll just have to come for that pretty quickly here. As I go towards the target, I'll click on that one first. And again, I do have one chip with a little bit more evade, a little bit more speed point out in front. I don't have to worry about micromanaging putting the tank out forward because it does it automatically. Also, make sure you stay moving so that any of these turrets right here, these ballista type turrets, don't really do too much damage to you. Other than that, I mean that's pretty much all there is. The radioactive turrets have a pretty high minimum range, so you want to get close to those ones actually. And the decimators or the disruptor turrets actually outrange you as well as the UAVs can shoot at you, but your countermeasures should be pretty good against those, if not perfect. Alright, a shockwave was off of my ships here, which hurt a little bit, so maybe I messed up a little bit on the damage there, and could reduce that a little bit if the higher evade ship was actually slightly further out front. As you can see, dealing with two UAV turrets at once, only three out of their 12 projectiles actually make it through, which is great, things go down quite easily. Against these few buildings, make sure that you are staying outside of the red rings when you kill them, because you take quite a lot of damage if you do go inside, and that's the target. Pretty easy if I do say so myself, although the first time I did this I took closer to half an hour repair than instant repair. Let's see what this one was. Alright, looks here like we are taking about even ballistic and radioactive damage, although of course I did mess up and take more more shots from that launcher than I should have, and it even got off a few shockwaves. Damage taken is 8 minutes and 39 seconds, which is instant base repair. The flagship has some damage on it, as well as ship number 2 and 3. In terms of my build, the flagship is a countermeasure ship with a lot of MBS-3s, just two of them on the fleet is all you need. Ship number 2 here is just a damage version with lots of reload with the autoloaders 4. And ship number 3 is an evade tank with a little bit more speed from that D5 EV plate, as well as Guidance Scrambler 3. This build code for all of these ships will be available in the YouTube description in my builds document that I have there. If you have any questions on this target, the 160 which I put a video out, or anything else in Battle Pirates, feel free to drop those down below. I'm going to say thank you everyone for watching, and as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you. Be a better pirate.